Hello YouTube, it's Gyro Vorbis once again. Ugh. Sorry for the lack of update for about, I think it's like a month now. Um, my dad actually helped Tyler and I uh, buy a new house, so we've been busy fixing that up. It's got a little bit of work to be done, but you know, hopefully... I don't think that we'll get the police called on us for playing rock band at 4 in the morning there, so that'll be sweet. That's what I've been doing. Instead of making you guys videos. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, you can quit your bitching now because this entire week I have a treat for all of you. Um, actually, no, on the subject of bitching, um, I'm actually honored that these videos mean enough to you guys that you're, that you're hurt by me not posting them. Like, I got a few messages where some people were actually pretty pissed off, and I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, keep getting pissed. I'll keep making videos. Okay, so Marcel, Chris, and Peter all have either work or school this week, and my summer classes start next week. So, pretty much, I've decided that I need to get the hell to work, and that's what I'm going to be doing this week. The way it's going to work is late at night, very, very late at night, I'm going to be posting a movie of what I've been doing during the day. Like, Monday's movie will be posted Tuesday morning because I'll still be awake. And that's when I do my uh, most productive work is late at night. And I'll post what I've been working on and hopefully make it semi-educational at least. Because, you know, all my new subscribers subscribe because the last video was educational. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and be educational. Um... Pretty much, I'm going to do absolutely nothing but sit here on my ass this week. I'm not leaving, I'm not going to parties, I'm not doing anything. I will be right here programming, and that's all I'm doing. If you know me in real life, don't call me, don't talk to me, don't message me, don't text me. I will ignore you. Uh, unless you want to come over and bring some Mountain Dew or, you know, some coffee or caffeine or money, you can do that, and then I guess I can talk to you, but you know, otherwise don't bother, but yeah, that's what we're doing, I need to get to work, let's do this. I forgot to mention earlier that we've recently recruited Rachel as our second dedicated tile artist. And if you haven't already checked out her channel, she's really talented. She's an artist, a programmer, and apparently she does some music as well. All in one. Which is strange, because usually someone's either good at programming or good at art. You know, not, not too. It's kind of like a red mage. And on top of that, almost every programmer I know has a penis. And she seems to be lacking that. Huh. Well, yeah. Welcome to the team, we're glad to have you. Okay, so what you're looking at here is basically the data folder for the engine. It has uh, all the things that it needs to load in order to run, or load when it does run. For example, here's the data for the classes. All of it at the moment is text-based, or at least most of it, until we are sure that we're not screwing anything up with any scripts or level editors, then we switch it to uh, binary or some sort of unreadable format. But for now, it's just simple text. We can make sure everything's working. But uh, originally, the engine was written in C, and so a lot of my load functions are in C, and they need to be rewritten because what Marauder's writing is C++ style-ish. And that's what we're trying to move more towards, actually. Um, and while I'm rewriting a lot of this, I figure I might as well add some debugging features because with uh, Marcel, Peter, and myself, editing these files through, you know, scripts, level editor, stuff like that. You know, they might become corrupted. One of us might read or write something out incorrectly, anything like that. And it, I just think it'd be a nice nice to have a way to, you know, out output a debug.txt or something of the sort so we can see uh what it's actually reading in, where things aren't working out, what's going on. And yeah, you can tell how tired I am. Here you see the engine. Notice my new computer is able to run it at 60 FPS while recording. Uh, ignore the two two idiots right here. 
I was screwing around with the party system. Uh, it's just it's working, but they're not supposed to be doing that. Uh, but what I was saying earlier, let me escape. All right, we have the level right here with the level files. Level dot text. These are all pointers to what we need. Let's say instead of let's say no no let's say Marcel is being a complete moron and he messes up the level editor and it instead of writing out to object set dot text it writes out to I'm an idiot dot text. So instead let me execute crashed. Well, it didn't actually crash, but didn't run because it's not there. Now, instead of sitting there for an hour bitching about whether Peter's script screwed it up, whether the engine screwed up, whatever, I go to my neat little debug.txt. Bam! It says the what's being loaded, where at. It's now it's starting to load the level. It's, it goes here. It says I'm an idiot. Dot text isn't there, and it's like doesn't know. It doesn't work, so you know that Marcel is the idiot. And yeah, that works pretty well. Uh, I'll show you what it is if it's successful. Let's see levels, new level. Let's go back and fix this to uh, <laughs> object set. File save. Yeah, let's run it. Successful. Exit out. Go back. Debug.txt. Everything's working. Loading level. Level loaded. Item attributes. I'm printing them out because it's really easy to screw them up and I was actually uh, changing the way they were being loaded. They're loaded. Lua. And then everything beyond this point will be after the engine's complete. So it'll be like the game running probably Lua output, anything like that. And yeah, that works. So I guess I'll do something else. Not quite ready for bed yet. Alright, really what I did is so simple that it's a joke. Uh, I'd spend more time on it, but I'm about to pass out and I'm out of coffee. Pretty much it's a basic singleton. It's a debug class with an OF stream object private and then an initialize function and a print function alrighty up here you have your init function just pretty much opens a file mine's hard coded yours probably you wouldn't probably wouldn't want yours to be and then it just prints uh, debug initialize to the file oh, my destruct destructor just closes it and my print file just takes a string uh, vsprintfs it which pretty much just combines the string with its uh, additional arguments into one buffer and then prints it out to the file and make sure to flush the buffer after that because otherwise if it crashes you might not actually get all the output you wanted sometimes it doesn't print at all so make sure to flush the buffer and then right here is where you can see I'm loading the level. It has a whole bunch of success checks. Like right here, I'm using the debug.print. Success is false if uh, load tile attributes doesn't work. Pretty much it all works the same way. That's how it all works. And the uh, plus side of doing it as a singleton like I did is you can do something like this. Let's say I wanted to make a load enemies. Now if I wanted to use that debug, all I have to do is get it. Uh, say I make a debug dbg. No, you want to make it a reference. Equals debug get instance. And now I have my debug instance and I can print with it. So after you get it, it works pretty much like as if it were a global object, but it's protected because you can only have one instance, and there's still private members, stuff like that. It works. Good night, everybody. I'm going to bed before I die.